my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty. I wanted to share with you a great new product, the Stampin' Up! Envelope Punch Board. And here's one of the envelopes I made for a standard A2 card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. The punch board's awesome. I'm going to show you how to use it. In addition, there's a really simple trick that I figured out this weekend on how to add a liner and use very minimal designer series paper. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to actually create an envelope for this card. Um, this is a very simple Thanksgiving card. It's a five by five. If I look at the board, it has all of the card size measurements. Then it'll tell you what you need to cut your paper to, as well as the score line you need to get started. On the 5x5, five five, I found that the paper size of 8 and an eighth by 8 and an eighth is a little small. It's a little snug. Um, so I prefer and will be using 8 and a quarter inch square. So 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. And that's what this size of chocolate chip cardstock is. And then the only other thing I need to keep track of for a 5x5, five five, I'm still going to use the same score line indicator that they show here of 4 and 1 eighth. So it actually has the scoring tool right in it. And I'm going to go to 4 and 1 8. See, there's um, the measurements go out to the left. And I'm going to 4 and 1 8. And I'm going to punch. And then I'm going to score. Very, very simple. And then now I don't even need to pay attention down here, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and line up this point with the score line. Punch and score. Again, turn it, line up that score line, punch and score. And then finally, I'm going to line up the score line one last time, punch and score. So that's that's the design that you're going to get. Now for the liner, um, oops, I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to use a little punchies. I'm actually going to use this side, this is so cool, to punch a great corner, rounder top. So that we know is now our top. I just want to make sure that that's in there. I've got things lined up, I hope, for you. And then I'm using a piece of designer series paper, and it's ultimately going to fit just about like that. And the way I come up with the size for this little square, and it's a square, is I take my ruler and I'm going to go to the point of this curve and put it in the center. And I'm going to bring it down to the center of this curve. And that is, I'm going to adjust it, four inches. Don't ask me why it works. My brain is not strong in the area of engineering and math. It works and it's perfect for my creative brain that's not so good in the math department. So now I'll show you all you need to do to modify this. So I've cut it to four inches, just like I showed you on that measurement. And that's the exact same way I did those other envelopes, the exact same thing. So I'm going to put this in, and remember it's four inches square. I'm going to go down an eighth, and this is going to be consistent every time. So I'm going to four and, excuse me, three and seven eighths, and I'll punch. And then I'm going to flip over and do the other side, four and seven eighths punch and then I'm going to go up above and I'm going to punch my top to mirror this. I did see some ideas for doing this online but none of them uh, none of them allowed me to keep that cute curve and I love the curve. So now all you need to do is add some snail or whatever your adhesive of choice is and just line it up. It looks so cute. But my favorite part is right here. Watch. I'm so excited about this. Fold. Normally I'd use a bone folder. I can use this actually. Yay. Click over these guys and over the bottom. And look. It's perfect. Even though you're using this much paper, you're able to make it look very, very finished. So this will be the envelope, once I adhere it, uh, that will go with this Thanksgiving card. And what a beautiful statement that makes. Thank you for joining me for my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. Bye-bye.